Hey, oh jelly beans, it's Jam. Hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to another squishy makeover. Now for this makeover, it's gonna be a little different. I decided to cut out the um, cleaning process and the drying process and the starching process. I already went ahead and I did that, so it's already nice and clean. And the reason I did that is this is going to be a little bit of a longer video because I'm gonna be doing a bit more of an elaborate thing, kind of like what I did with Derpachu here, where I went in and I did a complete transformation. Oops, sorry, <laughs> I'm always dropping everything. If you've watched my videos, you know I drop everything. And here's some squishes for those that followed me on TikTok. Someone asked for me to poke and squish Derpachu, so there are the squishes for you. Alrighty, so I am going to get right into it. We're gonna hop right into the painting because what I wanna do is I wanna paint each one of these little squishies individually first, and then I am going to try to attach this little bulb bunny creature who obviously has gone through some rough times. I'm gonna try to attach that squishy to the back of this one to create a character which you will see what character I am going for. So let's get started. For some inspiration, I am going to my Catch em All book. I'll post the link for that video down below. But I'm going to be trying to make him look like Bulbasaur. So to start, we have to do the surgery. I was so nervous about this because of his little nose and there's no turning back after this, but Bulbasaur doesn't have a pig nose, so it kind of had to be done and also had to get rid of that little tail too. And then this one, I wanted to keep the top because it looked like the top of the bulb, but I wanted to get rid of the eyes, so had to remove those as well. Moji Squishy's details come off really easy. So now before I go to attach them, I have to go in and paint them. And here, of course, is my puffy paint. I just got this set from Amazon, which I was very excited about. If you'd like, I can post the link for that down below as well. And then to get Bulbasaur's color, I went ahead and I mixed multiple different shades and I set aside a little bit of the paint in order to do the darker spots. But I mixed my dark greens and light greens until I got the perfect shade. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna speed this up for you guys because this painting took forever. So here we go, we're just gonna speed it up a little bit. And just so you know, puffy paint is not easy to work with. It's very thick and globby, but I love this paint because it's extremely opaque. So all I really need was a couple layers. And then I went ahead and did the same for the little bulb. And I kept bumping my camera. So if you see little shaking moments, that's because I'm terrible at spatial awareness. And then I dried it off with a blow dryer and went on to the attaching part once those were both dry. And I did this by going in with some puffy paint and sealing in the edges. And then I kind of went through with the brush and made it look like a leaf pattern. And I had completely forgotten to videotape the beginning of this where I started adding on the little speckled pattern that Bulbasaur has. But you can kind of get the idea of that. And then I used some black puffy paint to make these big dramatic eyes I liked having the initial outline, so I went ahead and I followed that, but then I made them even bigger to give them that even more dramatic pop. And for the mouth, I wanted that big expression like, ah, here I am. So I went in with my roll tool, ball tool, whatever you wanna call this thing and just gave him that wide open mouth like he's looking surprised or really happy, whatever you want to say it is. I had some white puffy paint that I wanted to add the little eye sparkles with. I don't know if I like the sparkles that much. I mean, they kind of look cute on him, but I kind of liked the big eyes. And then I wanted to add some little teeth. I ended up not liking both the teeth. I felt like he looked a little evil. I kind of just wanted one little tooth. And then I thickened that red paint a little bit. Okay, so that is 
the finished product for our little Bulbasaur, which I'm thinking of naming him Bulbaderp to kind of go along with Derpachu. His little face. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. And it makes me so happy that I was able to reuse the one squishy that was kind of ripped. And I gave it a second life, which made me so happy. If you like the name Bulbaderp, please comment down below. If you don't, try to put a name down there that I would like. So here they are together. But I wanted to get your opinion before I close this video. As you know from a previous unboxing video, I have all of these mini squishies. There, I think I have over a hundred of them. And I really don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I kind of have a couple ideas, but I actually have no idea because I feel like they'd be so difficult to paint. So I am definitely up for some ideas. If you have some of them, please share. Thank you so much. You jelly beans really make this channel what it is. Love it. Thank you so much for your support. And of course, if you like videos like this, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. Thanks a bunch of noodles.